Hey, what's going on guys? Rudlinell here, come back at you with another badge tutorial. Alright, now in this sort of uh, mini-series that we've got going on, we've been trying to take a look at how we can manipulate strings. And strings is that data type or like this sort of variable that allows us to work with text and letters and words and sentences and paragraphs and phrases and that sort of thing. So it's kind of awesome. What we're doing is kind of awesome. Only kinda. <laughs> so uh, now I want to show you guys a little bit of uh, something new. Because normally when we would be working in a programming language and actually creating strings. The way we would create the string is actually using, um, let's see, what they call, uh, let me uh, try and do something new here first of all. I'm going to get Notepad++ ready, and I've got it open in another window as notes, as a matter of fact, because I'm so gosh darn embarrassed that I don't know any of this <laughs> any of this material. But here, if I move this over here, okay, okay, now I've got, now I've got Notepad. Sorry about that, guys. But the way we would normally be creating a string in any other language like Python is actually using quotation marks around the string. So uh, I want to show you guys how you can sort of use that today. And uh, pretty soon we're going to be building something pretty cool that allows us to work with the strings and still get a little bit more information while we use a typical format of using quotations when we create a string. But uh, anyway, I've got my script open. I've already got something prepared for us. Uh, add echo off, set local... Enable delayed expansion. You guys know the drill. I know you gotta. How to, I know you guys know how to program and all that good stuff. I gotta remember to put in my set local and end local stuff. I actually think I forgot those in another video just recently, and that's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> but uh, okay, let's let's uh, let's create a string here. Let's say string. Let's just say it is a uh, text. So here we go. We'll use it without the. Uh, Oh, such string, sorry. Let's leave it without any quotation marks to begin with. And, uh, actually, let me shift this over to the command line now. And if we echo this out, we get text. That's exactly what we wanted. Now, if we were to, uh, actually add the quotation marks here, the way a normal programming language would be using, it'll actually display those out on the screen. But we don't really want it to. But we want to be able to initialize the string with these quotation marks in. We want to be able to declare the variable with those quotation marks in. And other than that, we don't actually want it to. After, we, after we've done that, we don't actually want those to exist or be visible. So we can do this with a for loop. And uh, the for loop is what we've been taking a look at in an earlier, uh, some videos before, and there were some options that we could have supplied with the dash F tag. So this can be a little bit of a review for you guys, if you, uh, if you don't actually remember all of it. But if we were to uh, set up a for loop for dash F, we can supply some options here. Now, the option that I want to introduce to you guys is use back. And that'll let us uh, use uh, back quotes and that sort of thing. So that's what we need to be able to manipulate the string like this. And then we'll set tokens to be everything, because if there are multiple words, we still want to be able to see everything inside there. So I'll use um, percent sign percent sign %g is the variable that we're going to be looking through, and we'll do in. And what we do inside of our set, we can use two single quotes here. And inside that set, we'll use... Um, the variable expansion, and we'll actually put in the name of our variable that we're trying to uh, that we're trying to manipulate here. So in our case, it's going to be string. Then what we'll do, and I don't need to create a new code block here because I'm only uh, I'm only going to be running one command, so I don't actually need to do a group or that sort of thing. So what we'll do is we'll do set string, which in our case is what we're going to be manipulating, and we'll change that to percent sign percent sign, and then the tilde which is the shift formation of uh, the back tick that's right above the tab key on your keyboard. It's to the left of the number one key. And then uh, we'll actually use the letter that we had supplied here, so dash G. And we do that. And now if we echo out string, we should... Let's find out, anyway. Let's not have any quotation marks. So this is how we could potentially remove those quotation marks. And we could add more information here. Like, let's say more information, more words. We'll run that. More information, more words. It still has all of our content except those uh, those surrounding quotation marks. But if you were to put some in, it'll still be able to get those correctly. So that's even more great. That's even more awesome. More information, more words, more great, more awesome. You know what I'm saying? So it'll still be able to understand those. It's only going to get the ones that surround it. So uh, there's how the, you can manipulate the strings and actually initialize them as if you would in a normal programming language like uh, Python, C++, PHP, and anything where you actually use good, strong typesetting. 
where you're going to be using these quotation marks so you know that it's a string variable. But this for loop is what we can use to actually remove those quotation marks and have it be continued without on without them, but we can still initialize it and treat it the way we want it to. So uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I know this might be a little bit useless right now, but trust me, once I introduce you this next topic and this next idea, it will, uh, it will be really, really handy. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, though. Goodbye.